The One Football app has a brand new look, but all the same old features that are useful for an FPL manager. Get customized push notifications to receive team news, goal alerts, and more. Download it for free via the link in the description. Welcome back to the Captaincy Picks series, where we discuss the top three captain options for the game week ahead, as decided by the results of our Twitter poll. If you'd like to cast your vote in the Game Week 3 poll, the link is in the description box below. And here are the results as things stand. Youngman Son enters the top three with 21% of the vote after netting four goals in the 5-2 hammering at Southampton last weekend. The South Korean ranked joint top with tallies of four shots on target and three big chances in Game Week 2. But the high line that Saints played was certainly a key factor, and whether Newcastle will be as accommodating remains to be seen. Between Mourinho's appointment ahead of Game Week 13 and the end of last season, no Spurs player contributed as many as Son's 118 FPL points, comprising of 8 goals and 8 assists in 20 appearances. He averaged 6.3 points per game during home matches against teams that finished in the bottom half of the table. Newcastle conceded 34 goals in 16 matches against the top 8 teams last season, an average of 2.1 per game. There's a tie for first place this game week, as Kevin De Bruyne and one other player have each received 30.6% of the vote. Last season's top FPL point scorer began his campaign with a double figure return against Wolves, topping the charts for both goal threat and creativity in game week two. Only Mitrovic and Son could match his four shots on target, while no player attempted as many assists as his six. The Belgian rank joint top with Salah for FPL points during home matches last season, averaging 8.7 points per game at the Etihad. Man City scored 18 goals in 7 matches against the top 8 teams during the 2019-20 campaign, where the 29-year-old averaged an equally impressive 8.5 points per game. Leicester lost all 4 of their meetings with Man City and Liverpool last season, conceding 10 goals, an average of 2.5 per game. Neck and neck with the Man City midfielder on 30.6% is Timo Werner, ahead of a trip to a porous West Brom side. The German won his second penalty of the season in Game Week 2, but Jorginho failed to convert from the spot. The 24-year-old netted 28 goals in 34 Bundesliga appearances last season, but is yet to get off the mark in the Premier League. His tally of 6 goal attempts is 4 more than any teammate has managed, while his 12 touches in the opposition's box is 8 more than any other Chelsea player so far. Antonio, Jimenez, Calvert-Lewin and Richarlison are the only FPL forwards able to better his 5 shots in the box. West Brom ranked bottom with tallies of 8 goals and 8 big chances conceded over the first 2 game weeks. No side have faced more than their 24 shots in the box, or as many as their 14 on target. 